hi guys welcome back to another video all right so in this in today's video i'm going to show you how to make cutlery order it's so simple it's so easy to make so i have just three measurements here so the first measurement is the width is 8.5 inches and the length is 10.5 inches 8.5 inches by 10.5 inches then the second uh, measurement is 8.5 inches by 6 inches 8.5 inches in le in width and 6 inches in in length then the other the third measurement is 2 inches by 8.5 inches 2 inches by 8.5 inches all right so i've cut out the main fabric and also the lining for it so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn it right side facing each other like this. Right side facing each other. Then I'm going to stitch. I'm going to stitch. I'll stitch. I'll leave some space for me to turn it over to the right side. I'll stitch, stitch, stitch. If you have your thread and needle, you don't have your sewing machine, you can just go ahead and stitch like this. I'm going to do the same thing to this one right side facing each other i'm going to sew 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 i will leave some space for me to turn it inside out then i'm going to do the same thing to the third one all right so then this is the velcro i'm going to be adding velcro so let me go and stitch all right guys so i'm done stitching it now i've stitched it and i've turned it inside out i left some space you see this small space I use it to turn it inside out likewise this one and also this one also so i have this right now so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to fold this one inside like this and i'm going to stitch i'm going to close that open uh, that opening then i'm going to take this uh, medium size i'm going to place it on it like this it's going to be like this then this the handle this will be the handle this opening part i'm going to place it here making sure the wrong side is facing up it's in the lining part is facing up then i'm going to place it here like this so it's going to be like this so i'm going to take my velcro this is my velcro so this row uh, this smooth part i'm going to fix it here it's going to be here so now i'll take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch it down i'll stitch it like this through this way then i'm going to stitch this place up i'm going to stitch it like this i'll go this way and i'm go i'm going to go up then i'm going to stitch this one down then I'll show you the next thing to do. Guys, so this is what I have now. I've stitched it. You see the way it is. You see, so I have this. So now I need to divide it into compartments for my cutlery. So I'll have to put spoon. I have um, fork and also knife. Then also my servet will be here. So I'm just going to divide it. So I can just go with 1.5 or 1.2 inch. Then I can, okay. So let me just go for 1.5 inches, 1.5, then 1.5. So the remaining part will be for my comp uh, for my servet. So I'm going to stitch it down like this. I'll stitch it. I'll stitch it. So let me go and stitch. Then I'll come back to show you the next step right so this is what we have now okay so we have our four compartments here for our spoon for our fork and for our knife and also for the servet okay so we have our fork we have our spoon so this is supposed to be for the knife so you put it there then we have our servet wow this is so handy this is so beautiful i so much love it all right so this is how to fold it we just fold it like this from here from here 
like this this way this way wow this is so handy this way then fold like this so the way i got this place where i'll put the second uh, vicro i folded it this way then when i folded it and i was satisfied with the way it was so i just marked these parts when i marked the parts so i just stitch it there so just for you before you stitch it just fold it around like this i know where it's going to stay and this is what we have wow this is so cute you just put it inside your lunch bag inside your bag inside your children's lunch bag so andy it's so beautiful i want to see you make yours practice thank you for watching this video to the end i love you thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next video all right so i'll say bye for now okay bye